Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today we're going to be talking about jQuery with Ajax and PHP. This is what you're going to be learning. This particular form here has your name and email. And if we go ahead and I fill out and put my name and my email in here and I hit submit, you could see that it returns, you know, this form item. And that's what we're going to be learning how to do. And you're going to be able to use PHP to process this AJAX with jQuery submission. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. Let's start out with the bare bones of an HTML document. And let me go ahead and start popping code in here. And we're going to discuss this one at a time so you know exactly what's going on. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to put in a title tag within our head tag. We're going to drop down here and paste in there. And that's going to put submit form using AJAX and jQuery. Okay. The next thing that we're going to do is in order for jQuery to work, we have to bring in a jQuery library. So we're going to use the jQuery library on Google. And that's what this tag does right here. So we're bringing up in a script in the source, and this is the source of it. And if you would load that into a browser, you just see a lot of code. And then we end the script tag with that. Now let's jump down into the body tag, and we'll start uh, putting different information in there. We're going to start with the form tag. Let me uh, pop this in here for you real quick. And you notice here the input ID is name. The type is text and the placeholder is your name. And if we take a look at that form right now, let me go ahead and just go to our local host index. You can see that it pretty much looks like the form that we started out with. Okay, we have the placeholders of your name and email in there. And then we have our input uh, button, which is submit. Now you can do this one of two different ways. You could actually put a button in there like so. U T T O N, and then give it a ID equals submit, right? And then end that, and then give it a type of button and value of, uh, and then let me show you how this is done. Copy, let me paste that in there, and then what we want to do is close the button tag, and we'll just say new submit. Okay, just like that and if and if you look look at it now and we'll go ahead and refresh we have this so we could do this e either way okay so it does, it's not important that that we do it one way or the other what's important is that you know the ID is set so let's go ahead and just take this out here and we're gonna drop down and put in a div ID of display and what that's going to do is that's where all of our text is going to display within this application. Okay, so anything that we put in there, it's going to display in that div. Okay, finally, we're going to go ahead and we're going to dive into the script, the uh, jQuery and Ajax script. And let me go ahead and, and get this popped in there. And let's explain it one step at a time. All right. So we're looking for the document ready function. Okay, so the difference uh, between jQuery and JavaScript is this is all shorthand. This is a lot shorter to write than uh, JavaScript because if you watch the previous tutorial, you'll see a lot of other different um, uh, writings. Okay, a lot of different code. You have to write more code with JavaScript than you do with jQuery. That's why it's become so popular. So we start with the uh, jQuery document ready function. And you notice right here, it's looking for the submit ID. Okay, and now that's this right here. It's looking for whenever this button is clicked. All right, when it's clicked, it's going to call this function and set the variable of name equals dollar sign name, which is the ID, and that's getting this right here. Okay, so it's important that you understand that. The next variable it's setting is email, and it's giving, getting whatever value is in the email ID. Okay, now notice we don't have to put a form tag on there like we do with other HTML documents because we're using jQuery, Ajax and jQuery. 
And then if we use JavaScript with Ajax, it'd be the same thing. But we're grabbing the value, but instead of typing out value like we do with JavaScript, we just put VAL. It's kind of shorthand. Next, we set another variable of data string. And you'll notice this is a lot like JavaScript. Okay, we set uh, a variable of name one and we grab the value of name, which is getting that from this ID up here. Okay, the next one we set another uh, value of email one. Now, notice the ampersand signed. Okay, oh, let me see here. So, if I got highlighted for you. Okay, the ampersand sign and the equal sign. Okay, so the ampersand sign and the equal sign plus email. So you'll recognize that from our previous tutorials where we were using JavaScript. Okay, so we store them all in data string. Now we could name this anything that we want, but we're just going to name it data string. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to check and see if there's a value entered into this input ID of name or input ID of email. And that's what this line here. So if name equals nothing, if they didn't put anything in there, or or that's what the two bars are, or email equals equals nothing, okay? What we want to do is target that div and display that HTML. Please fill in all fields, okay? And then we end that if statement, and then we put else okay else we're going to call ajax and the type is going to be post the url that we're processing all this information on is called demoprocessor.php okay and you can see that i have this lined up we're going to code that together in this video and then the data is data string You'll notice this is a lot shorter than whenever we were doing the JavaScript in the previous tutorial. Okay, the cache is false. And if success, we're going to call this function of result, like if we're checking to see if there's results, and we target the, the div ID of display, which is right here. Okay, and instead of like uh, inner HTML, we just type HTML. So inner HTML will be JavaScript, but since we're doing it shorthand with jQuery, we uh, just put .html and whatever the result variable would be, okay? Finally, we close that. We close our AJAX request. We close the, uh, the, the else script, and we hit return false if neither one of these are executed in this if statement. So if this, if else if neither one of these are executed we just return false so it doesn't endlessly loop finally we close out our jquery statements okay and then close out our script tag our body tag and our html so let me go ahead and, and save this real quick and we're gonna we want to try to get it to display this like if they don't fill out a name or an email then we want it to display please fill out all fields and so let's load that up in our browser let's go ahead and refresh and we'll put in my name again and my email. We'll hit submit. And you can see that the form was submitted because I forgot to put in not demo processor, but processor. Okay, because I wanted to show you what you were getting into at first. So let's go ahead and do that one more time. Maximus, Maximus McCullough. Okay, let me not fill out either field. Okay. So now it says, please fill out all fields. And then whenever we fill out the fields and we try to hit submit, we get nothing back. Why? Well, that's because we didn't fill anything out in our processor.php because, you know, this URL is getting post as, uh, posted to processor.php. All right, so let's go ahead and develop our processor.php form right now. And you'll notice here, we're looking for the post variable of name one. Where do we get that? Well, if we go back to our uh, data string here, we see that name one is right here. Okay, so we're looking for that. The next one we're looking for, the post variable is email one. And where do we get that? Well, we get that right here. 
okay? So we take both these post variables and we store them in a PHP variable. First, the name one PHP variable, we're going to store in the name, okay? And we'll go ahead and echo that out down here. And then we take the post variable of email, store it in this PHP variable, and echo it out as email. And then so we'll have form submitted successfully, then we'll have the name and the email. So let's go ahead and save this processor.php. And now we'll go ahead and submit, and you can see form submitted successfully, Maximus McCullough, Maximus McCullough 29 at Gmail. All right. Now you could dress this up a little bit. You could put, you know, your BR tags in there if you like. Uh, so you would do that like this. BR. And we'll go ahead and just copy that line and put it right here and save it. So they'll all be on separate lines. So let's go ahead and do that again. And you can see that each one is on a separate line. All right. Okay, this is Maximus McCullough with AWM Website Pro talking to you about jQuery, Ajax, and PHP. If you have any questions, please post them on my website. You'll find the link in the description below. It was, I uh, hope you found this educational and informative, and I hope you use this in your applications.